I'm just gonna, yeah. I mean, all of these are basically saying the same thing. It's dumped here. Whatever its price history was before that doesn't really matter all that much right now. It's dumped massively. It's tried to pump. It's sold off on the weekly here pretty strong. Um, it doesn't have any enough data there to say anything. Um, it's kind of wallowing up into the right here, but look like it's continuing to get some resistance. So I think this one kind of continues to call, consolidate for a while. I don't think there's anything with Moncoin right now that's been like screaming, hey, I want to be bullish or anything like that. It's not looking terrible, um, but it could have more downside from here. Um, so I, if I'm going to go with meme coins, I, I do think Pepe is way better. Uh, and I think Pepe in the short term can come anywhere up here to about uh, like a 2-0. It's at a 1-6 right now, and maybe up to a 2-4 um, before then it consolidates back down to the current area. And then if we get that move in August, right, because it is still in a nice uptrend right now, it's consolidated for a bit. So maybe we get like a 50% pump on Pepe then another consolidation, and then if we get that altcoin run in August, I think then Pepe starts going fucking nuts. Um, but for right now, Pepe's kind of looking like Ethereum uh, or a little bit better um, at the moment. Let's see. Uh, the last two that I want to take a look at here are, mm, let's do Ton and then we'll do Ink. Um, so for Ton coin, I'm going to go over to this chart here. Tone coin, nothing to see here right now. It's broken down uh, ever since April from this uptrend. It's pulled back pretty strongly. Um, this, I would say, is a ABC of some sort, a B wave of some sort, and the C wave is coming in. Um, so that's pretty nice to recognize that pattern because then you can basically say, okay, well, uh, we're going to go with this high here to this low here. And then we're going to go to this high here. Um, and then, um, yeah, you'd expect this to come and hit new all-time lows at some point um, or come back down at least towards uh, an area a little bit lower than where it's at now. So Tone Coin, nowhere near a buy opportunity right now. Um, and then the last one we'll take a look at here today is Inc., uh, which, eh, let's see, we'll take a look here. The incentive token, we'll just take a look at it compared to DAI. Okay, maybe it's trying to break out. Let's see. We'll we'll give it a little bit. We'll we'll make this one tight here, and I think it looks like it's breaking out, right? So it's trying to break out here on the lower time frame. If you look at it on the daily, right, you can argue that you could try to argue. Eh, can you like I don't know. I, I would say the four hour candles are going to be a little bit more accurate, but you can argue that it hasn't quite broken out yet. But it is trying right now. Um, you can argue that it's, it's going to do pretty uh, okay. And if it makes it above $9 again, then it could run, right? But I would say ink token looks pretty bad. Um, yeah, maybe it doesn't run here up to back up to uh, $15 or up to $25. It could do that. But I would say the fundamentals on this uh, are not going to be great for a long-term sustained run. So it'd be more of like a pump and dump for that. Um, but that would be significant, right? It'd be a two to three X uh, type of pump and dump there. So, you know, hey, not terrible, but you can't rely on anything like that. You don't know if those moves will really happen. Actually, last one I want to take a look at, if we're going to take a look at Inc., you might as well look at Zen, right, in my opinion, uh, in terms of quality of projects. And the one thing here with Zen on the daily is it is trying to break out, right? And if it stays above uh, this area here of a uh, 156, it's currently at 1474, uh, if it stays above that area, um, then it, it's going to get a buy signal on the weekly. And I hate, uh, not hate, but I, I dislike Zen. It's not something I'm really that interested in, but fuck it. You know, this one looks like it can do a run right now, to be honest. Um, on the weekly, it's still below its trend line, um, above its area where it's trying to get that buy signal. And then if it does a run, right, even if it was just up to this area of resistance, um, it could do a pretty nice number of Xs. So um, let's see here. Blasphemy, they say. Uh 160% increase to about 272% increase um, if it just does a mild move, um, which is better than most altcoins there. That could This could do it over you know uh, a month right here. So we'll see kind of how this rolls. It might not make too many crazy gains um, over the course of July, but I think it'll move up uh, at least you know about that 63%, as I said, for most altcoins. You mostly have over the course of July, right, a nice 40, 50, 60% increase on most coins. And I could see Zen doing that as well. But I would say um, you're probably more likely to hit a good move on Zen than you are on Inc. Um, but right now, I mean, both are, you know, highly, highly speculative and not um, good on a fundamental level, in my opinion.